Uh, do you care what design your IRL PC looks like, or do you just care if it's cheap and works? Um, that's a very tricky question to answer, King Orson. For a number of reasons, that's a tricky one to answer. How can I put this? My ideal solution for a PC is it's amazingly powerful and I can't hear it. And the only way to really achieve that is to have it on the other side of a wall with like cables coming through. And if you have it on the other side of the wall where you can't see it, then it doesn't matter what it looks like. But I can't do that. So since it's in my room, it needs to look awesome. So I make it look awesome. And my PC looks pretty awesome. I don't like over-the-top RGB. I like subtle use of RGB. And I think we achieved that. So in theory, it shouldn't matter what your PC looks like. Because in theory, you just hide it anyway. But fact is, most people don't hide their PC. If you wear noise casting headphones, you won't hear it. What about the microphone when you're recording? RTX voice, meh. Mr. Koala Bird, thank you for seven months. Graphics card isn't to my high standards. Could you do something about it? My brother has an MSI on his PC. He says they're the best. So he wants some kind of an MSI graphics card. He currently has a 1050 Ti. Which is number like 18 or something. Yeah, he has a Zotac, and he has a budget of $250. I think we're in the same boat again, because I think to, this starts at like 265 We have got another option here, possibly. The Radeon R9 382G. $215. That's within his budget. We could get him that with Best card we can get him for the money is that one. That if it's an MSI. God. I see Nut Slammer's busy. So I think we buy an MSI Radeon R9 380 Gaming 2G, which will push him up to here on the score. And that's the best ticket, because after that, it's two six five dollars And he doesn't have the budget for that. So we'll get him that one. So we'll put that in storage. What 
What if you go over budget? They basically give you a bad report, I think, so they give you like a one star rating or something. Which is not what you want. Right, this guy wants a 3D mark score of 21, 29, 25. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, be amazing if it's multiplayer. Um, I don't really think it would. I don't really think it would make it vastly better, no. <clears throat> Tom2424, 50 months. Thank you very much, Tom. It's a bullseye. Right, quick virus scan. Nothing there. Which is the app that tells us what score you'll get? Um, it's not, is it that one? No. Oh. Is this the score? Does this just go off graphics cards? Is it literally just graphics cards? What the heck? That's so weird. Twenty nine twenty five sound like a fair benchmark target. Is this the is this the benchmark? Five hundred dollar budget. So basically, he wants this. He wants a GTX nine eighty Ti. Because anything else is less than that. GTX nine eighty Ti is this one. Parts ranking does CPU as well. Hmm. So does that mean I need to run it on this PC to get a valid score? That's currently on 2019. Maybe I need to install it on this machine. And it'll tell me what card to get to get 2925. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make sense, would it? It's the Whiteland. Thank you for giving sub to Omsi. As if that's even a Twitch name, Whiteland. <laughs> like, really? Hmm. Wait, isn't that the same? 2704-3129. That doesn't make any sense to me. From the benchmark on the PC in question. When you say the benchmark, which what do you mean by the benchmark? I've just run the part ranking, and it has exactly the same scores as the one on that other machine. So it's saying if you buy this card, you'll get that score, which doesn't make much sense. Mr. Wyland, thank you for giving us up to my summer car.
Yeah, but old man Hawkeye, I beg to differ. Unless this machine has exactly the same CPU as this machine here, then I can't explain why. So this has a Pentium G4400. And this has a Pentium G4520. And yet these scores, 2704, 2654, are exactly the same as this machine. So how does that work? The ranking is a is just a list, not a benchmark. So, uh, no, it's not bad. There's nothing down there. Look. Oh, yeah. So it's just a ranking of graphics cards and a rankings of CPU. So how do we get this score? How do we work out what we need to get this? How do we know what to do? To get 29.25? Like simplistically, simplistically, if we buy this top card, it will put us over. Or does this, do you just add this to this to get that number? Is it really that simple? I just don't know. What score did this 3D mark come up with on this machine? Can you remember? Have you ever played DayZ? Lock, I was one of the first people to ever play Daisy. And there are still videos this day on my channel. But I've never played the release version. Only ever played the mod. Jens, thank you very much. Literally just making numbers up. It's 2019, it says so on the specs. Benchmark 2019. Okay, so let's see if we can work this out. If you take a Pentium 44520 and a 1050 Ti, Ten fifty T I was one three nine three. One three nine three plus five ninety. Gives you 1983. How did it end up with 2019 then? You can't just add these numbers then. It doesn't add up. Unless I've done maths wrong. 1393 plus 590 is 1983 in my mathematical world. Which is not 2019. It may factor the RAM, but if it factors the RAM, it doesn't give us any info about the RAM here, does it? Well, in theory, it should do Venom, but we've only we've only got stuff here: graphics card and CPU. Pentium forty-five twenty. Do 
3D Mark program tells you how it works from the tech guide. Are you on about the thing in the game or the real thing? Well, we have to get to about 3,000 approximately. I'm kind of wondering, do we just buy him a... Like the best graphics card you can buy? <clears throat> which is this one. Which will cost $350 out of the 500 and almost certainly tip it over. Or is there an easier way of doing it, a cheaper way of doing it? Yeah, I'm trying to understand the game though, Ryus. Because like, if you can work out how the game's doing it, maybe, maybe you can buy like a cheaper graphics card and a cheaper CPU, and it does the job, but adds up to less money. That's what I'm thinking. Look at all these parts. Can't we just use all these? Ah, uh, the Gladius mouse. We're just waiting for the uh yeah, four FPS thing to finish. <laughs> Uh, it's about 1400 so that's a level 8 unlock, and then this one is a $1,500 bench unlock. But I'm a little bit careful because I can see a $500 rent coming up next week. There you go. So the graphics got 2087 and the CPU got 1705, which gave it a score of 2019. I have no idea how it got from here and here to here. That's not an average. I'm just as confused as I was. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe we just stick a graphics card in there and see what we get, and we may have to upgrade his CPU as well. Yeah, you know what that does? That brings up the Steam 3D Mark technical guide. The actual technical guide. Right, we'll stick this in. Uh, which one was it? GeForce 980 Ti 6G LE. Four hundred and thirty-five. This is basically all the budget. Like, if this doesn't work, <laughs> this doesn't work. It's full rip. Because that's 500. Yeah. 435. One over there. Uh, replace the PSU. Okay, this is the one I think we ordered the PSU for anyway. So we should be able to... Oh my god. Dude, what have you been doing with this? How do you get a machine... This dusty? What the? Uh, 
There you are. So like a minute to do that. Okay. There's a lot of cables going on here. If only Candare works as well. I show you what I've got, and Dave made me get this. This is what you need if you want to clean your PC or anything else for that matter. Industrial strength. Industrial strength dust blower. This thing is nuts. Use mine and lights it. Mr. Squirrel Assy has nothing to do with... It has everything to do with you, Dave. Every time I go to yours, I end up buying something. Hang on. I've got nowhere to plug it in. This thing is like seriously. <laughs> Five hundred watts. Five hundred watts of compressed air. That's what that is. That doesn't mess around. <laughs> that will get all of the dust out of your machine. <laughs> also, Dave, what do you think of this? Power! That really is power. It really is power. Dave, what do you think of this? You know what they are. Vera Allen keys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check those bad boys out, Dave. <laughs> they're, they're Allen keys. You can get Torx versions on them as well. You have the exact set of Allen keys, very decent. Yeah, they're very good. <laughs> Ton, have you cleaned your ears now? <laughs> right, I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, putting in a USB ESU, that was it. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want compressed air, you just get one of those 500 watt cleaner. That'll sort you out. Power supplies, 600 watt, Power King, Keck W. That blast cleaned the dust out of your PC. <laughs> Did this guy, Nicholas Sight, let me just check if this guy requested any particular shenanigan. Nicholas. No, no, there's not nothing about particular cables. Any problem with those cleaners is the dust from your PC still hasn't settled. <laughs> The best thing about those cleaners is when you're cleaning your PC out, it actually cleans out the one in the next room as well. <laughs> Cable. Let's go there to that. Alrighty then. 
Don't know if he wanted white, but he's getting white. Did he have white before? I can't actually remember. Yeah, the thing is, though, you have to kind of use them outside, really. Unlike Dave. Dave just does it in his room and there's, like, dust everywhere. You're like... <coughs> Ideally, you just take the machine outside and do it. PC can boot to OS. Oh, yeah. Right, let's do a quick virus scan. Doesn't just do PCs. Oh no, it actually does lots of things. They're, they're just generally good. Like when we was constantly refilling up the liquid in the water cooling system, like sometimes there was little happy little mistakes and we'd have a bit of water. Just get that thing on, it just blasts all the water away completely from the machine. It's like you've got a clean bill of health. Well, I think that one can be sent. That one's good to go. Who's that one? That was Nicholas Sykes. Collect. Happy customer. And we can... We've actually got an order of stuff ready to go, but we should probably check out what, what are the other jobs as well. Uh, where did you get the vac from? Amazon. Be warned, they're like a hundred quid. <laughs> and it's not a vacuum. It doesn't suck, it blows. Like, it blows out. It doesn't try to capture anything. It just blows it around. A bit like a leaf blower, I guess. That's 45 pound last time. No, no, they're like 100 quid. It's the opposite of a vacuum. Yep. Requires level four. Jeez. Bit of a crisis here. Let me guess who this is. I knew. This, this guy again. The, the movie guy. Can you do something? I need to get this article written or the Sonic Monk fans are going to be very disappointed. By the way, if you can get hold of a copy of Sonic Monk Trilogy. What the heck is this? Replace the hard drive. He wants us to replace his hard drive, apparently. What's his hard drive? He has a Mortoni Easy Store 500. We can get that ordered. Easy store, 500 There you go, $50. Consider it done. You'd be considering one for drying off your car after washing. Well, you did a long extension cable, but it's doable. He has two. What does this say there? What are you seeing? Oh, you mean the terabyte one? Oh, we don't know which one he wants to replace, though, do we? As usual, I'll rip my Blu-rays to my computer so I can more detailed analysis. All right, big files means probably it's the big drive that's gone. So we could take a gamble and order that one. I reckon this is, we'll cancel the other one and we'll get this, the Barracuda one terabyte. That's this one, $60. Scrap that one. In transit, I'll do. 
The most important thing is, can it run Hearthstone here as a Warcraft? The vents look a bit clogged. Okay, so we need to clean. Looks a bit bland. You want some cables? PC can play here as a war. Right, that's going to be a, a diagnostic type thing, isn't it? We'll get that one in. My PC is sluggish. How about upgrading the CPU? I'm um, after 16 gig of RAM. Clean out the dust. Okay, what have you got? Okay, well, we can sort the RAM out. Hang on. He has an 8 gig stick in the $500 budget. <laughs> Nothing like adding a bit of color with some black plastic cables. <laughs> Say, the inside of my PC looks a little bland. What I need is some black plastic cables. So what if we order another one of these, a silver team 8 gig 266, and then we look at his CPU, which is a i3-6300. So we get that and then we find something better than that for five hundred dollars. So we'll work out the memory. It's a silver, wasn't it? It's a silver two six six six, so we just need another eight. So that's $80 out of his budget to get one of them. And then have a look at the graphics cards and actually the CPU. And if we look at the ranking list, he has an i3-6300. So we could get him, I mean, he's got a massive budget. We could get him like an i5-6600 maybe. I mean, even that's only a hundred and... 75 seems like a simple enough job I mean I don't know who's paying for this do we go for an i7 or do we just stick with the i5 I don't know wicked mouse I don't know have a look at the wattage If we buy an i7, I don't know if the i7 will work in that motherboard because it doesn't actually tell us. So we could just go for an i5. Well, you need to upgrade the cooler. That's a very good question. I don't know. It says 550 watt. What are you reading? Right, so we'll get him an i5-6600. i5-6600, it's a Skylake. Oh, wait, hang on. What motherboards you got? It's a Gigabyte B250M Gaming 5. That's a KB Lake. Socket LGA-1151. It's the same socket. My i7 is the same socket as well. For the budget he's got, we could stick an i7 in there. Put an i7 6700K in there for two feet. He's got like a $500 budget, this guy. He's only spent 80. Should we stick him an i7 in and find a cooler for it? Ninety one watts. What's his PC? His PSU. So 
6700K. We'll put that in there. CPU cooling. He's got silver rem. LGA 1151. Let's get him one of these. Let's get a bad boy cooler. It's got the right socket on it. Accept that. I7 and a cooler for it. And some memory for him. G29 is decent enough wheel to start with iPhone, yeah? Uh, Mike Lowe, thank you, 47. Hope you're well. <laughs> the black color might clash with his black cables. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I think... New parts available. We'll get rid of that. Right, I think we're good to go here. So we'll stick a buy now on that. Cha-ching! And I think there's nothing else we can do until tomorrow. It's a whole lot of stuff here. Look at this. Tons of stuff. And some more machines. <laughs> Okay, 3D Mark score of 2925. Upgrade the graphics card. Wait, what was wrong with that one again? Let's do this one. Replace the hard drive. We are hoping that the problem with this one is the big hard drive and not the little one. That's the Barracuda. That's not broken in any way, according to this. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> How come this hard drive doesn't have a label on to say that's from his PC? Because we have a brand new drive, and then he's got a drive with stuff on it. So now we need a Mortoni 500. I actually put that in my basket as well. That is so frustrating. Why would I put both in Baz? I don't think we get extra brownie points for that. Mortoni was at 500, wasn't it? That one. Uh, that's annoying. This guy wants to play Hearthstone. That looks really dirty. Yeah, I don't know how the game's going to work. Like, if he has a 500 gig drive and we throw one terabyte in there, is it going to go, oh, that's fine because you've upgraded him, or is it just going to go, nope, that's not a 500.
You think upgrades within budget are allowed? So as long as it's on a hard drive to a hard drive, yeah? Try it. We can try sticking two barracudas and see what happens. Needs four gig of RAM and he has two. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you, Daldrill. Whose PC was this? David Wilde. David Wilde has <clears throat> Keck W Titan 2 gig 2133. that one so we need that for him it's that one wasn't it with the hard drives i think was this the one with the hard drives yes oh look at that that's amazing we put it in its box and then when we took it out the panels were still off and the trays were still sticking out that's incredible I don't know how that works, but let's see what happens when we do this then. Did this guy want a cable upgrade? I can't actually remember. Okay, so it says replace HDD is green. It's Blake. Oh yeah, he just wanted it like running as quickly as possible because he wants to get his super important film done because he's like the 54th website in the UK. So I don't think he actually cares. White cables, black cables, not bothered. He's actually got a mix. <laughs> he's actually got white and black. I'm not sure if he's going to kick off about that. Even though we've upgraded his hard drive, he might be like, oh, it's got a white cable in it. I mean, cables are just... There we go. You can't complain about that, right? He did ask for black cables, did he? This guy. I thought this was the movie guy who was just in a bit of a panic. All it says about the job is this bit here. The clunk of the drive. That's all he said. He doesn't say anything about cables. <laughs> Mr. Johnfly, how are you doing, sir? 
Thank you very much for the host, John Fly. It's very kind of you. Thank you, mate. Mods, can we get a shout out for John Fly? Probably flying again. He always flies. Give him a follow, guys. He's a big flight simmer and a really nice guy. Thank you for the host. Are all the parts in stock and available? No. No, no, no. We have to keep paying $30 next day delivery. <gasps> no operating system found. There's a problem with that solution. We can't put a random hard drive in there because that has no OS on it. I'm not sure how that works. Is it because we got them the wrong way around? Dude, if we install the OS on his failed hard drive, I, I honestly don't know what to do here. Are we even allowed to install an OS? Let's enter the BIOS and boot the OSB. Can we do that? boot device I can't change the boot device to anything but that thing dude the USB is in lock <laughs> you have two drives he had two drives I already restarted the machine. It'll boot from the USB automatically. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought you had to specify that as your boot partition. Ben S, thank you for 200 bits. Great stream. Got to go soon. So thought I'd cheer now. Thank you very much, Ben. Um, how do we tell it to install the OS? You need to buy the OS USB drive. What? No, he didn't do it. He just booted off the USB memory stick. Oh my God. All right, we'll take the stick out. And we'll turn it on. It's already done it. That's that's full on hacks then. That's just full on hacks. I don't get how that works. That doesn't make any sense. That's not how PCs work. Okay, well, I don't know. If he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. Whatever. It would just give him a free copy of Ubuntu. Right, let's see if we can collect Blake's money. Play collect. All right, five star, five star on Bongle. I'm I'm down with that. I'm down with that. What was that one? Upgrade the CPU. Is that the one that we just bought some parts for? It isn't it. So we can't do that yet. That's the 3D Mark One. Is that the one we just ordered a graphics card for? Is that the one we've now got the graphics card for? That's the one we've got the graphics card for. I think we gave him the stonking best graphics card, didn't we? To try and get over 2,900 on his score. Let's get rid of the PCI lock. Right, the R9 3080 Gaming 2G. Or was it this one? I think it was this one, wasn't it? The nine, the GTX 980 Ti Gaming 6G. It's that one we're putting in. 
Is this power supply good enough? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't, we can't give him... No, that's not on. This, this guy is spending the Wonga. Like, we've got to give him proper cables here. District Lorraine. I don't know. I'm going to see what the email said. Oh. Awesome plastic black cables. Yeah, because your white ones look rubbish, mate. You definitely should have some awesome black ones. There's all the white ones gonna think. See that boots. This is why we need, we're getting to the point where we need another bench because while this is like running, we can have another bench here. But we can go a thousand. Is it a thousand dollar overdraft we have? Can we afford that? We're on minus a thousand. Uh, upgrade the graphics card. Can't remember what we're putting this one. Is it the this one here? The R9 380. Now why don't you want to go in? Check if both front fans are connected. I connected one of them. Oh. I'll check in a minute. If you, like, one misclick with this and you accidentally just pick up the whole thing, it's really annoying. Um, which cables does this guy... It's hard to remember who wanted what, you know? MSI, yeah. Nothing about the wires, so we'll just put in the white ones. Should do it. Oh yeah. PC score twenty nine twenty nine twenty five. Three seven five three. Knocked it out of the park. If this person's not happy. Let's double check that. I think we ran this already, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh remove. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. But when I go to cable, I can't do anything else, so I think they're all done. Complete case. 
Did I forget to put the back on? <laughs> Wait a minute, I did put the back on. Oh, I missed that again. Hang on. Oh, four stars. They got my PC up to 29, 25 in 3D Mark, and it came back in record time. But I didn't give them a five-star rating. Because I'm a scumbag. Obviously. Like, we gave you a score of 3,700. Clean your PC, you made it look amazing, and we got a four-star rating out of that. Because why? Because, like, why? <laughs> they came back in record time. There was literally nothing wrong with this order, and we get four stars. Didn't miss a cable. I literally pressed the cable button. There was nothing missing. But, you know, if they want to be a scumbag, fine. Add remove virus scanner. I've got the graphics card. Yeah, some people do that. Some people will literally just give you a four-star rating even though you did everything right because they don't believe in giving five stars. <laughs> That's just people for you. Well, you can't be perfect. Four stars. If I put five down, you won't try anymore. <laughs> right, it's okay. PC can boot to OS, diagnose and fix. So there's something not right with this, but we don't know what it is yet. No CPU. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that diagnosis. <laughs> CPU. Oh, this is where we tried to fob them off with a second-hand 1300X because they had a broken CPU. Need to sell that. And they were like, nope, you can't downgrade this customer. Uh, how you downgrade somebody from an, a broken CPU? I don't know. Um, that one was for the i7 guy. This is this person's cooler, I think. And then, let's try booting. Oh, rip. A good spot. Backlash, man. Remember. Remember what you said earlier on. It's either one star or five. There is no in between. Skull shock. Skull shock. Skull shock. I like that. Skull shock. <laughs> yes. Well, I said most people. Most people do one or five. Some will do in between, but not many. Skull shock. <laughs> oh dear. Put the fan in, CPU cooling, that one. Oh, we got... Change color every five seconds. See, that one, you said that one allow you to chain it. The last one just didn't give me that option at all. How much is this game? Not sure. Uh, see, the USB sticks in the other machine. We've only got one USB stick. Oh, I saw a lot of viruses then. It's twenty dollars. Wait for—I mean, the Steam sale. It would have been a lot cheaper, right? You can buy a USB. Stick. I'm going to have to buy another USB stick. I'm just going to stick that on the order. 
even though we haven't got any money tools usb drive 300 dollars okay i'll just carry one around for now how does a usb stick cost 300 dollars what like five quid oh hello thank you for 27 